Hello everyone, welcome back to Data Engineer YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how we can create shortcuts. So let's talk about shortcuts. So basically, in Fabric, we have a new concept of shortcuts wherein we can use any of our you know other cloud storage, uh, be it GCP, be it Amazon S3, or be it Azure Data Lake Gento. So if you have any uh, of these cloud storage and you know there is data inside that, definitely you can create a connection from this fabric workspace to that particular storage account right uh, data will be retained there itself you will be just uh, you know via that connection you can read the data you can process the data right so let's see how we can do that so for this particular video we will take example of azure data lake gen2 so we'll create a connection from fabric to azure data lake gen2 so let's get started for that uh, firstly i'll uh, go to my uh, workspace so let me just quickly uh, go to my workspace okay so let me just go to my dev workspace all right so once i'm in dev workspace i already have created a lake house so already if you have created a lake house you can continue from here if you haven't created a lake house definitely you can watch my previous video on how to create a lake house so now uh, let me just click on this particular lake house now we want to create a connection f uh, you know of uh, basically with this lake house to that azure data lake gen2 for that we need to click on get data and then we need to click on new shortcut all right so now we will be selecting the azure data lake gen2 option as i told we can create connection with even aws and gcp also so I will go with create a new connection. All right. It will take some time and it will show a big form. All right. So it, it is asking for the you know blob URL and then it is also asking for the connection detail. So let me go to my Azure portal, portal.azure.com and let me quickly create a new blob storage. So why I'm creating a blob storage is I'll tell you in a moment. Already I have one, uh, you know, blob storage, but I will just create a new one uh, so that, you know, you are aware how to follow the steps. All right. So let me just go to blob storage. All right. We can even search it here. So I'm just clicking on create button to create a blob storage. Uh, let me just name the storage account to be dev demo let's say abc all right it's fine so now i will go to next option now here you need to uh, make sure that you should enable the hierarchical namespace if you will not do this you will get a lot of errors and it will not you know the the connection will not be created if you have already existing blob storage, definitely you can enable it from the settings. Okay, so both way it is possible. So I will quickly click, uh, you know, click on review and create. So it will take some validation time, and now I can create my resource. All right, it's submitting the deployment. Meanwhile, let us see the different connection method if we are using a data lake Gen two. So whenever we are using a data like Gen2, so these are the different, uh, you know, login methods, how you can, you know, do the authentication part via the account key, organizational account directly using a service principle or the SAS token, right? We will see how to connect using an account key. Definitely for security purposes and all, you can definitely use service principle. It's the best method, right? Now, I guess our blob storage is created. Let me just add a dummy file to this particular container. So let me just create a container called bronze. All right, the container is created. Inside that I will upload my CSV file. Okay, so this is my bronze data. I am just uploading this file. Now we are ready with the storage account. Let me go back. I need a URL here. So see, in the URL, or you can only give DFS path. Make sure you are only giving DFS path. 
Now, from where you will get this DFS path? You can definitely go to this particular, you know, uh, storage account. You can go to JSON view. And inside JSON view, if you scroll down, so this is the DFS path, uh, you know, uh, which you need to enter. So there are different types of path, blob path, queue path, file path, DFS path, and so on. So I'm just uh, copying the DFS path and I'm pasting it over here. Once you have done it, you can give the connection name, bronze connection. You can give any name and then it's a new connection. Now authentication sh uh, should be using the account key. So what I will do is I'll go to access keys option in blob storage. I will copy one of the key and I will paste it here. Once done, I will click on next option. All right. So now it will create a connection uh, with, uh, you know, basically my ADLS Gen 2. Once it is done, it will show all the containers. Let's say you have 20, 30 containers, all will be displayed here. So now you can definitely select which container you want to create a connection with. You can even select multiple containers. So once you, uh, you know, click on a particular container, you can even see the files inside that particular container. I have only one file, so I'm selecting that and I will click on next. Once this is done, so is the status is yet to create. Once you press the create button, it will start creating. So it's showing me succeeded. Now, once that is done, so let's wait for a moment. It may say, uh, you know, take some time to create the connection. All right. So basically, now that is done. So you can see bronze, uh, you know, shortcut is available. So the, you know, identity of shortcut is there is a folder icon with a link like this. And now once I click on bronze, I will see all the files inside that. So even when I click on this file, I can view this file and definitely, you know, uh, we can, uh, you know, access this file. We can, you know, access this data using notebook and all. We'll see it in the upcoming videos. So this was the method how basically we can create a shortcut uh, and via a shortcut we can, you know, uh, access the external storage accounts which are on cloud. So basically it supports all three main clouds. That's all for today. I hope you like the video. Thank you.